Hey, hey guys, welcome back to YouTube channel to go find Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, keep sharing, keep doing what you do. We really do appreciate. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link down below and I'll be sure to check it out. Uh, find us on Facebook and Instagram as Funny and Jesse. Head there, say hi. And we'll say hi back. Check out our second YouTube channel, Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we put out. So today I'm going to be reacting to his blessed demeanor, Mitsin Muhammad episode 2. So, so without wasting time, let's get into the video. So much of the Quran, when speaking about character, emphasizes body language. In fact, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about Ibad al-Rahman, when he talks about the servants of the most merciful, what's the very first description? Alladhina yamshuna ala al-ardi hawna, they tread the earth lightly. When Luqman al-Hakim alayhi salam is giving his son advice and he talks to him about the way that he raises his voice or the way that he walks. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the way we respond to our parents, not to say uff, not to grunt at them or turn away from them. And you find this in that hadith of the Prophet as well. The Prophet saying that a person should not be treacherous with their eyes, winking and looking and making facial expressions behind a person's back in a way that betrays them. And so when you look at the Prophet demeanor, everything about the Prophet body language is prophetic. First and foremost, you're probably not used to the idea of someone who is so beautiful being so shy. But the Prophet ﷺ said that the khuluq of Islam, the characteristic of Islam, the key quality of Islam is haya, is modesty. And when you look at the Prophet ﷺ, he was the shyest person, he was the most bashful of people, even though he had the supreme traits wasallam. So what were his traits like? What was his demeanor like wasallam? So we already said his smile was constant and he's described as basaman bahakan. He was always smiling and causing others to smile and he was always laughing and causing others to laugh. But his laughter wasallam, was also dignified and shy. When he would laugh sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, all that really was, was an extremely wide smile. And he would laugh in a way that his smile would open up to where you could see the back of his teeth, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And even when he chose to laugh, alayhi salatu wasalam, says something about him. So he would laugh when others would laugh, but he also would laugh, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, widening his smile when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him good news. Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'ala anhu mentions the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa having that wide smile, that laughter after his ibadah, after his worship. He would laugh when he shared narrations about Allah's mercy, the famous narration about the man who would enter paradise last. And he would think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mocking him because he cannot comprehend the generosity and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa laughs and says, Allah laughed at that man when the man said, Ya Allah, are you making fun of me? And you are the Lord of the worlds. So his laugh was not audible, but it was clearly distinct from his usual smile sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and it would show his back teeth. The Prophet Sallallahu also was noted for these long periods of silence. You know, sometimes when a person is eloquent, powerful, beautiful, whatever it may be, they tend to dominate every single gathering. They tend to dominate every single conversation. This is the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he's noted for his silence. He was always in this place of reflection. And you could tell when you were looking at him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he was deeply perceptive. And when he sat around people, he would only speak Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in a way that was proportionate to the gathering itself. He's also described as having Hulwul Mantiq, beautiful logic and coherence. He spoke and he spoke to the point. As we said, his articulation was crisp and he would speak slowly and he would repeat himself Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So everything he said, you would immediately understand it and you would remember it from him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Despite his beauty, he generally looked down alayhi salatu wasalam. And when he looked at people, he wouldn't stare. He would just glance at you and then he would look back down sallallahu alayhi wasalam, and that's from his humility. However, if you were enjoying his eye contact, then he maintained it. If you were intimidated by him looking at you, 
then he looked away as well, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that's how striking his beauty was. Amr ibn As radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he says that if you ask me to describe the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I would not be able to describe him because even though I would be right in front of him, I couldn't look at him ijlalan wa ta'zeeman because of how awe-inspiring his presence was, because of how beautiful he was sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and because of the admiration that I had for him, I just couldn't look up at him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now, when the Prophet ﷺ would turn to you, when you would speak, the Prophet ﷺ was amazing at giving people attention. And so, tafata, when he turned Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he wouldn't just turn his head towards you, he would turn his entire body to you when you would speak to him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to let you know that you're the only person he's listening to at the moment. And if you asked for his ear, the Prophet Sallallahu would give you his ear and he would not remove his ear until you were done with everything that you had to say. And if you shook his hand Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would not remove his hand until you removed yours, letting you know that he was all yours when you were speaking to him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One of my favorite narrations about the Prophet sallallahu in this regard, and one that has serious consequences for us in regards to our cell phones, is that the Prophet sallallahu had this ring that he liked. And the ring of the Prophet sallallahu was a silver ring. It had a ruby stone from Abyssinia. And one time the Prophet sallallahu was wearing this ring and he looked at it a few times in the middle of a conversation. And then he was disappointed with himself sallallahu alayhi wa sallam being distracted by his ring from his companions as they were speaking. So he actually took off his ring sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he cast it aside. And he said that I was looking at this ring a few times but I wanted to get it out of the way because it was distracting me from you sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When he would point towards you alayhi salatu wa sallam, he would not use a finger because if he pointed with his finger towards you, then you might feel like he's casting blame towards you. So the Prophet ﷺ would only point with his entire hand so that you didn't feel like you were being blamed by his finger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ida ta'ajjaba, when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was amazed by something or when he was in the midst of something and something amusing was said, the Prophet ﷺ would tap his thigh and he would say, SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah. When the Prophet ﷺ would walk, he was a man that would walk with a sense of purpose. Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu said that the Prophet Sallallahu walking was like a man walking downhill. Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu said you couldn't even keep pace with him. And that's because the Prophet Sallallahu had the walk of someone who had something important to do. He didn't walk arrogantly Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, nor did he walk with laziness, but he walked fast. And that was a sign that he was always motivated and he was always productive Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And even in his manner of sitting, there was humility and there was an intentional humility to it. Allah sent an angel to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to ask him if he wanted to live his life as Nabi and Malika or Nabi and Abda, as a prophet that lives like a king or a prophet that lives like a humble slave. And the Prophet Sallallahu chose Nabi and Abda to live like a humble slave. And he said that's why he would always sit up Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and eat his food in a certain way and not recline like an arrogant man or like a wealthy man or like a king. So everything the Prophet Sallallahu did with his demeanor lent itself to his supreme humility, to his modesty, to his bashfulness, to his shyness, and to his sincerity to Allah and to the people Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. صلوا عليه صلوا عليه صلى الله عليه وسلم I'm just thinking to myself and saying um, he, was, he possessed good characteristics he listens to people, he doesn't speak over people, he had leadership skills that didn't, he didn't need to overuse. Rather, he made everyone feel welcome around him, he made everyone feel at home around him and I feel like that's what makes Muhammad quite admirable. I don't know about you guys, but that's what I think. If there's anything you would love to say, let me know down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.